Been here seven days at Horseshoe Bay on Magnetic Island and uh, the weather has calmed down now and uh, I'm going to head off to uh, the Palm Group. Hope to get to Orpheus. The first boat going out today trying to catch a few fish out there, mainly mackerel I think he's going for. I'm going to pull the anchor up now. I'm not going to film it because I filmed it on the last one. I've been going half an hour now, I've got my main up and I'm leaving Horseshoe behind now. There's another, there's a boat in front I'm following and there's a uh, boat just behind me but he's a lot bigger than me and he's motoring so uh, I'm sure he'll overtake me in a minute. I've been going six hours. You can just see Magnetic Island uh, behind us. This is Palm Island just in the clouds. It's now two o'clock and that's Fathom Island there with the Palm Island behind it. Coming on round this is uh, Orpheus Island. There's a boat anchored in here called Ned Kelly. I think he's actually working in the research station in there. I believe this is where all the giant clams are. I think I came here about 16 years ago. No, probably 20 years ago, but it didn't look like this. There were no boys there in those days. It's a very dull day and Orpheus doesn't look very, you know, nice really. Just like, like every uh, island in the Whitsundays, basically. Except it's not got any hoop pine trees on it. going to go around the headland there and hopefully go around the other side of Orpheus and find a bit of shelter and anchor while I think about what I'm going to do. Coming up to a catamaran here called Flash Dancer. It's a lightweight 46. Polaris and Orpheus are now in my wake. Bit of a miserable day really, just cloudy. I couldn't see that I could go uh, snorkeling at Orpheus with just the clouded as it is because uh, the reef wouldn't look very good. So I'm heading for Zoe Bay. Inchinbrook is in the centre of the screen and Zoe Bay is on the bow. The Lucinda Jetty. It's uh, used to uh, export sugar from those big white sheds you might see there a little, a little not very big in this uh, picture but they're the uh, sugar sheds you know you're up here in the kind of tropics down up here and now my bloody protein lines let me down again uh, the only place i've been able to catch some fish was was basically off bowen uh, off the uh, abbot point jetty you know i hit three in a row there and uh, since then I've been in famine. I've also bought a, uh, a paravane for it now, a new trace wire, so it's got a paravane on it which pulls it down probably, oh, I reckon, you know, six, six or seven meters. And, uh, and then you've got the trace wire with a, with a silver spoon on the back end again. And the only thing I've caught on is a couple of slimy mackerel. Yeah, well, the autopilot's doing a good job. This is my ST2000. I prefer a 1000, but uh, this one came with the boat and it leaks a bit of water when it rains. It's kind of got a big crack in it somewhere. I've kind of filled it up and it shouldn't leak at all, but it does. So I use this on the uh, nice fine days. And uh, when uh, it rains, I'll put the uh, new ST1000 on and uh, use that. I carry the dinghy on the uh, deck just here and it seems to work out pretty well to be honest. It, uh, it saves me dragging along, gives you another half a knot. You know the nearest to uh, Hinchinbrook from here, I just had a look on the screen and my thing with the cursor is four miles off that is. 
and right here at the moment we're in 20 meters of water. Now midday, the clouds are slowly burning off Hinchin Brook. Had a large strike on my protein line, but uh, bloody thing got off. So I'm just hoping before I get in here, I get myself a mackerel. Finally anchored at Zoe Bay. What a brilliant day. There's a little bit of onshore breeze at the moment. There's no waves, just a small bit of swell. And I'm in two meters of water at low tide. I'm going to try and go. There's a sandbank up there and there's a creek in there. I'm going to go and explore that. I don't know about today at low tide, maybe tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I can get around that uh, sandbank at low tide. And this is it. It's a beautiful mountain there through the uh, in the clouds. On this side here, you've got the hills. And you've got a waterfall there. Well, the boat just got off the boat and it's not rolled all. I've been here for about three hours and it's not rolled at all. And now it's rolling like mad just because I've left. Just trying to find a way into the creek here. There's a large bar and I thought that it stretched all the way across, but uh, I don't think it does. I think you can get in over there. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a look. Hope you dragged me dinky through that hole there. At the moment, there's about 300 in the creek out to the entrance at low tide. Standing on the beach looking south. Had a rolly night on the boat here with a little bit of swell coming in. Anyway, 10 o'clock today we're going in the creek, which is uh, nearly high tide, and a half an hour before high tide. I've worked it out and we've got uh, 1.8 of water. So we should be able to just have the keel up a bit, rudder down and go straight in. It's high tide now and I'm heading in the creek. Uh, I checked it out yesterday and I know what I've got to get in the backside so I can miss the rocks which are on the, uh, on the headland side facing the camera at the moment. And there's sandbanks on this side over here. And I've got to go in between them between the sandbanks and the rocks. That's my backside right there, so I'm uh, heading in now. Just got to keep away from these rocks on this side. It's gone up to 1.5 now. I'm anchored in the creek in 3.1 meters of water. One other boat in here. I saw him at Orpheus Island and he's down here now. It's very large and he's got stabilizers hanging out the side. It's half tide now and I'm heading up. I'm gonna head up the beach to the other end. I've got my backpack, a couple of bottles of water, one EPIRB, phone and a tangerine. I'm on my way to uh, the falls, Zoe Falls. That's looking down the stream. I've been going about 10 minutes so far and that's looking up the stream. But I don't think I've got far to go now because uh, when you get to that hill that's uh, basically the waterfall. Yeah, I'm at the falls and I'm going to go for a swim now. 
been here for quite a few years now. I used to come here with my kids. And it, it was quite hot then and we used to, uh, you can carry on up a side track here up to the top, right up to the top where the rocks are up there and some beautiful little uh, rock pools with uh, water cascading down up there which are really nice to uh, sit in and you've got a view right down uh, over the bay. Pretty awesome here, there's fish, I don't know what they are. I'll have to have a look in my fish book when I get back. Lots of them. This is my second day in the creek, so anyway, I'm going to head off up to the waterfall again for a bit of a swim. It's like quite, quite a nice lot of exercise. I tried fishing with a lure, I just a lure, and uh, I didn't catch anything. So I'm going to go up there this time, carry my tripod and I'm going to self-film me on the way. As you can see, it's uh, tides in at the moment, but they're not very big tides, but it's quite an expansive beach, very flat. Yeah, all along the beach, there's these uh, coconut palms that have taken off. And they've got you know, loads of them growing underneath them. You know, I'd say in another 20 years time, this will be just, uh, all the way along will be coconut palms. It looks quite beautiful, but uh, I hope the National Park doesn't uh, cut them all down because they're not native. As I walked along the beach, I wondered what this was. And this must be the track heading north. We'll just go in for a little while and uh, see what we can see. That's the track through there. The National P Park puts arrows on the tree. This is a typical part of the track. This is your first glimpse of what you see when you come out of the uh, track. There's some trekkers there that are walking down to Zoe Bay. This is one of the campsites I just spotted on the way up. You get a picnic table. And you get a place to hang your uh, packs on and a place to uh, put your tent up. Plus you get quite a few bugs that are biting my legs. This is the dunny. It's about six foot in the air and I'm gonna go and test it. Somebody might be able to tell me what kind of tree this is, but uh, it looks to me like a uh, Something like a Mackay cedar or something like this. It's uh, quite a nice tree. Walking down the track. A bit different to the uh, track 400, four or 500 meters further north where the... Uh... I can't see any jungle perch in here. That's what I saw yesterday. But anyway, I'm going to strip off and uh, get in here and have a bit of a tub. Well, I had a nice uh, dip in the stream and uh, now I've got the walk back to the boat, which I think will take me about half an hour. Yeah, it's just nice to get back to the boat after a long walk. I'm going to get back in there in a minute, have a drink and sit down and listen to an audio book.
Well, I'm cooking myself something tonight. I've been having quite a lot of uh, pasta, but uh, I'm getting fed up of that, so I'm cooking myself a steak tonight. My steaks, they came, come cry back like that. I put them in there. They last probably two months in the fridge like that at least. You know, I don't, I don't worry. I, I'd eat this in six months' time, these cryback steaks. I've got a few beans in here to go in. Some carrots. And I'm just doing some onions. And, uh, uh, you might not be able to see there, but uh, I've got my fly screens in. And when I put the fly screen in, it's it's just loose, you know, it doesn't go in anywhere. And what I do is I just spray them with a bit of rid like that, you know, down there like that, boom, boom. And that stops the uh, bugs coming in. Yes, quite a nice evening out there. Tried fishing today, this afternoon, up the creek. Uh, I put a, a trousers on, a long sleeve shirt and... No, no, it did no good. Well, I'm getting there with the cooking. I've got my carrots, my beans and my sweet potato in here. And uh, I've got a small steak and some onions. I'm going uh, to caramelise the onions and uh, in a bit of butter. And there's the steak. It's nearly done, just waiting for the beans now. I uh, get the smoke out of here, I use this fan is blowing air out straight through the hatch and that's uh, you know get circulates the air through the front of the you know through the front and straight out the back yeah it really worked it this fan worked really well for uh, getting the uh, cooking smells out the boat pretty quick uh, well I'm gonna sitting under this coconut tree here away from the bugs, admiring my boat. Sunset over Gould Island from Cape Richards.